Hello and welcome to this news mobile special edition of Big Question. I am Saurabh Shukla. I have uh, two special guests joining me today uh, to talk about a very uh, famous book. I should say I've been uh, meeting a lot of young students lately. Uh, this is the admission season. A lot of them have read this book. Indian Roots IV admits. I have Viral Doshi and Mridula Maluste joining me uh, from Mumbai. Welcome to News Mobile, both of you. Thank you. Thank and you. let me set the ball rolling, uh, Viral. Uh, how did this idea of this book come about? I know you have been advising and mentoring a lot of young students who are uh, landing into some of the best global universities. How did the idea of the book come about? Thank you, Saurabhji, first of all, for having us out here. But let me start. You know, if you just think about it, you know, essays have always been a very important element in the college application process. And if you look at my last meeting I had with you, we had said essays count for about 10% of college application. But over the years, we have seen the number of students applying from India has been an exponential increase because of more IB schools, affluency, and is spreading all across India today. Applicants are only from Delhi and Bombay. And over the years, we have found that students, when they were applying, when they wrote their essay, they were quite, they didn't know how to write the essay because how would they go about writing an essay? They would either fall back on a book like 50 Successful Harvard Essay written by American kids, or they would go back to some uncle and aunt who studied abroad, or an English teacher or some senior who went abroad. And we were finding that students were completely not aware how to write a perfect essay. There was no repository of essays written by Indian students to, get, to help them write the perfect essay. And what happens when you read these American essays, they have American style, they have the whole nuance is very American. And you try and influence that sort of a style in your essays, it always falls flat. So the idea was to make a collection of essays of people who have been successful to give students out here an idea, look here, they can write a simple essay also and make it to the top schools. And the, and the, the book is very interesting because it's not only students from Bombay and Delhi, it's from all over the country. It's all from Singapore, from Dubai, Indian students who make it to the top schools. So what happens? gives a chance even for children from second, third year cities, which is becoming very prominent in India, that they also have a chance to go to a good college if they know how to write that essay. So book German is there. And yes. I think we have been very happy with the way the book has progressed. Yeah, Mridula, uh, you know, you've been a, a mentor and a guide when it comes to essays. How much uh, does an individual's personality should be reflected in an ideal college essay? As you've, uh, you know, uh, I see the essays uh, which are there in the book as well. So the individual's personality actually needs to be totally and wholly reflected in the essay. The essay needs to be truly authentic. But here's the catch, you know, most students and even adults somehow cannot deep dive and recognize their special, truly special qualities and their truly unique qualities. And for that, they often need an empathetic and sympathetic ear to tease that out. You know, and that's how, uh, you know, consultants like Viral, like me, come in. Because finally, it is, you know, you're a writer also, Sorabji. So yeah. you know that yours is a subjective voice. But sometimes you need that objective voice that will tell you that, you know, this needs to be made more animated or this is a cliche, etc. So I, I think the essay needs to be authentic. It needs to be about the student and his experiences, about his strengths. But first, the student needs to recognize these for what they are. And that's how we come into the right. picture. Uh, Viral, uh, you know, a lot of universities are now test optional. And I know uh, that students feel that in some ways, uh, even with a good score, uh, test scores, they may be at a disadvantage. How much uh, that means the essay becomes even more important. Uh, what do you say to that? I couldn't agree with you more. If you look at this year's admissions, I think it's been one of the most challenging years in college admissions, the history of US college admissions. And one of the reasons is the number of applicants have just shot through the roof because SAT being optional. Now, when SAT becomes optional, what would they look at? Of course, they look at academics. But as a matter of fact, they've started looking at the essays much more seriously than they used to do in the previous years. So, essay is going to get much more prominence as the years, as we go into the next few years to come. With the competition increasing, yes, you're absolutely right. The essays will get a lot of prominence. The SAD is going to be optional for a couple of years more to come. So, I, I would say if anybody is doing college applications, please put a lot of emphasis on writing a great essay. 
make a big difference. That could be your differentiating factor to differentiate you from the rest of the applicants who are applying. Right, um, Ridhula. Uh, you know, I saw some of the essays in the books, book, and and even you know, as you said, I'm a writer, but I'm amazed uh, by the wealth of ideas these young, uh, you know, kids uh, or students had. Uh, how much do you think an essay should be reflection of your own personal life story? How important is that? You know, your own personal life story is hugely important. But let me just talk about that a little bit. Um, just uh, moving on from what Viral so beautifully said just now, uh, the essay is, see, when you look at the common app, application is very much the CV and the uh, form is to do with the student's past, okay? But the essay needs to be about addressing what the student will be in the future on campus. So what we know is that yes, the student from the CV we know that the student is at the helm of an NGO, or we know that the student is a basketball captain, but that is the what of it. We do not know the how of it. So the how of it needs to be teased out in the essay. You right. know, the university, because the university is also investing in the student. We just as the family and the par parents are investing in the student, the university invests in the student, right? And they need to know how the student is going to enhance and enrich the life of both students and faculty. You know, coming back to uh, you, Viral, uh, and I want to ask you a general question. A lot of parents, students are watching this interview, uh, especially for uh, you know parents. Uh, I get a lot of queries about. When is the right time to start preparing? Because I know, uh, as the results illustrate, it's becoming fiercely competitive. Uh, every parent uh, want uh, their kid to go to a good college and obviously avenues are opening up. What is the right age? What what grade do you suggest uh, they should uh, start looking at, uh, you know, creating a holistic, uh, I won't say portfolio, but, uh, you know, uh, getting, uh, doing the planning about college? You know, honestly, over the years, I've always felt the grades 9 and 10 are the years of exploration. Right. Explore what you enjoy, explore what you would like to do in college. Grade 11 becomes a year of consolidation. And grade 12 becomes a year of application. But because of competition, people want to start consolidating application grade 9 and 10. I think it's too early. There's enough time to consolidate any application in grade 11. So honestly speaking, if I had a choice, I would do it typically towards grade 10, middle of grade 10 meetup and start preparing what to do in 10th summer and then follow it up with grade 11 at the end of the day. Yes, competition is increasing, people are getting more paranoid, but you must also understand that building up a profile is one small component, it's about 15-20%. I think over the years I've seen that what really gets people into good colleges are academics. When I say academics, I mean school academics, external competitions, online classes and selective summer schools. That's what people are forgetting to focus on. What they're focusing on is profile building. Profile building, this has become a new craze in India. It's all about profile building. And if you ask yourself, how many people are getting in because of profile building? Whoever has gotten to good schools have gotten because of sterling academics. I don't mean school academics. I mean competitions. I mean uh, uh, summer schools which are very selective, online classes. Focus on that. And once that is in place, believe me, half your battle is won. So profile building, I would still believe, do it as late as possible. I think. Grade, towards the end of grade 10, middle of grade 10 is a good time to meet. But when you go to any cocktail circuit in Delhi, Bombay, Bangalore, people are starting in grade 9. So you get nervous. Oh my God, if I don't do it, my child will be left out. So they also start doing it. And as a result, what's happening, just become paranoid about this uh, profile building. Ask any admission director, how important is profile? Yes, yes, it's important. But more important is academics. So coming here to study, not for extracurricular activities. Coming back to the uh, essays, uh, tell me, Obviously, you know, admissions officers, uh, as Viral also said, that are looking at essays more closely. What is, you know, what are two or three tips you would give uh, to a prospective student? Uh, what is that that makes an uh, essay which really attracts an admission officer's, you know, eyes or the interest? Because obviously, even when we're reading a book or reading an article, it's the first few lines 
which often uh, yeah. uh, you know uh, really help what is your advice on yeah. that so you hit the nail on the head i think the first few lines are really important uh, one of our students uh, went to colombia and worked in the admissions office over there and he phoned me and he said mridula ma'am you know how long they take to read the essay i said how long he said 4 minutes okay so in those 4 minutes they need to fall in love with you so for that reason i feel that i tell students and viral tell students do not write an essay write a story what else should an essay have i feel it should you know as i said before they don't want to know that you've been basketball captain they want to know what changed when you were captain so there needs to be an inflection point a watershed moment where everything changed all right and then it needs to be a riveting read it has to have a climax that takes you to the student's future that takes you to your mission that takes you to really what you know as i said before what is the energy you are going to bring to the you i just wanted to add you know a lot of people when they're writing the common app essay they say oh we're going to work on some of the one common app essay i just wonder sometimes why do you need to work over some of a one common app essay and i find the experiences you have in your uh, 11th grade summer are so beautiful that you can write a much better essay after the summer finishes yeah. but somehow this been a complete paranoia that you have to finish your common app essay in the summer of your before your senior year or before your 12th grade but the thing about common app essay taking 3 months i just find it so amusing sometimes why people are doing it so early. right that's a very good tip because i that was precisely the question i was going to ask you so, because, <laughs> because i know it's, it's, it's good that uh, you read my mind Uh, so you know one more question that has been you know i i i get asked by a lot of parents and and students uh, again uh, what how much of a difference does it make if you because i know that it has been a tough year a lot of students may not have uh, got into a top iv uh, i know you've been saying that post graduate is what uh, graduation is what really matters a lot a masters degree what is your advice to students do, do you think they should consider any transfer uh, or try for a transfer or they should focus on the college uh, they got in and then look for uh, post graduation to a better college the competition this year has gone up tremendously because of sapping option i don't think people are aware the number of students applying from india has exponentially increased for the simple reason i don't think people are even aware that today india has 200 ib schools it was not there 10 years ago it was not there 5 years ago The number of applicants are going up from small town India, from Jaipur, from Baroda. You can see all the top IBs coming from there. I think I think what we'll have to also start understanding is that it's going to be get more and more competitive. Whenever we make a college list, you have to make a realistic list. Of course, you have dream colleges, you have target colleges, and safety colleges. But be realistic in a selection. It's like me being five feet four, want to marry somebody who's six feet four. It's not possible. So that's the problem. Is we are being too too aspirational and then getting disappointed at the end of the day. And at the end of the day, how many students do Ivy Leagues take at the end of the day? It's very very limited. But we still feel we'll get in because of X Y Z. So I think. people should understand competition has increased definitely aspire but keep a balanced list and if you have not got to the school of your choice should you transfer i would say it's a double edged sword you can transfer if you're not happy in the school that you go to but you don't transfer just because you want a better brand i think eventually i still believe over the years i've seen my most successful students are students who went for a top post graduate college it did not make a difference where they went for a the graduate college but having said that every parent every child aspires to go to a branded college now whatever said go to that yes if you want if you feel that this college is not your right choice go there work hard focus on academics get your professors know you better get sterling recommendations and think of transferring but transfer is not necessary because eventually look at historically also people have become very successful i would say majority have gone to schools which they were a good fit in and went for a branded post graduate college but this is very personal i would defer to any person if you want to transfer i would support him to transfer if you would like to right uh, you know one last question before i uh, wrap up uh, and you know it's to uh, either of you uh, you know a lot of these students they're still uh, straight out of school they're still not sure what they're going to do or embark on a career how do they make that right subject choice yes they know the broad idea that they will study the liberal arts that they'll go into sciences but how do they 
really zero down on a good subject choice which also become which is relevant in the years to come i think uh, that's a beautiful part about going to america isn't it you have a wide variety of courses to do in the first year and second year allowing you to explore and find out what you enjoy and then declaring a major at the end of two years there's no compulsion that what you apply for is what you do that's the beautiful part of the american education so i think that will give an opportunity to a child to find out what he wants to do and then deep dive into that but more than that i think the internship that he does in the summer breaks the online courses that he does in the summer breaks will all give him a better idea what he is meant for and you, you see when you go to a college in america you meet people from diverse backgrounds from all over the world your vision your thought process everything takes a big change out there and i'll tell you i would say more than 70 to 80% of my students went for xyz major the graduate in abc major and that's a beautiful part about the american education so i don't think i would worry about that at all i think everybody takes care of it and i would say if you look at historically everybody's found out their calling after two years of college sorry but the please to add to this so i think you said it yeah. okay thank you so much and you know i wish you all the best and i hope uh indian roots iv admits uh many more editions and uh, this is a brilliant compilation and i would strongly recommend if you haven't read uh the book please do go and get it and uh thanks viral and uh, mridula for joining news mobile and for being with us uh thank you thanks so thank much you, thank you so much thank you